I'm Jenny Brown. Welcome to the 21 Day Millionaire Mindset Challenge. Today I want to share with you something that I consider to be priceless. Something that is life changing both for you and for others. I often hear of uh, people who are struggling and businesses that are experiencing problems. And I always know that there is a very simple solution to their problems. I also hear of people who are hugely successful such as Richard Branson or Bill Gates and I know that they know this and that they put it into practice every day. So that's what I want to chat to you about. It's the difference between the successful and the not so successful and it's all about giving. Most of us tend to withdraw from giving when things are tight. The biggest tip I can give you is that this is the time to give more. I've experienced this myself over and over. If I pull back on the giving, I start to experience difficulties. But if I am abundant and liberal and generous, it comes back to me over and over and over. So don't put giving off waiting for when things get better. Start now, regardless of your circumstances. It's very easy to give when things are great, cruising along and the money is flowing. And this is the time to put into practice some great giving habits. If you experience tough times, then the habit of giving will flow through and be automatic in all circumstances. At a seminar, I was speaking about the power of giving and during the break, I was approached by one of the attendees. Oh, she said to me, I just love what you've been talking about. I'm so looking forward to the time when I can have the opportunity to give. I looked her straight in the eyes and I said to her, I'm going to challenge you right now. Why are you waiting? What do you want to do? Why don't you do it now? If you want to be a giver, there is always opportunity. And what's more, I said to her, I'm going to challenge you right now that by the end of the week, you will send me an email and tell me what you did to give. I spent a few minutes with her working out what she was interested in and she said sick children. So I said to her, well, you need to find something to give around that. At the end of the week, I received an email from her. She was so excited. Not only had she taken me up on the challenge and found something she could do, she had actually gone out and completed some giving, so she'd acted on it. And in the process, she had given herself great joy and had also given great joy to some sick children. Regardless of whether you are you know, in a good situation or a bad situation, whether you have more money, more time, less money, less time, the time to give is now. Develop the habit of giving freely and liberally. I suggest you write a personal giving plan and if you have a business, a business giving plan. So what is a giving plan? Well, it's where you write a plan of how, when, what, where, who, everything that you need to give. Some of the things that you need to think about your giving plan include thinking about giving first. By this I mean that you decide a percentage or a dollar figure and you give that first. Don't wait for it to go out of whatever is left over after you've paid for everything or you've done everything because there's rarely anything left over. Giving is too important to be left to whatever is available after everything else has been paid for or taken care of. It should be as natural as paying your bills or spending time with your family. This is very important and it should be high on your priority list. Be very deliberate about where you give, the types of organisations and individuals you wish to support and how much you wish to give. Think about the things that you have a personal interest in. You may care about poverty, so find organisations or individuals that work with that. You may have someone close to you that suffers from a particular problem, so you might want to give to organisations or individuals who work on that problem. You can have one or many places that you give, it's really up to you. If you go to my website and check out the bottom of the About Jenny Brown page, you will find that our business supports several organisations, including World Vision, Destiny Rescue and an elephant called Lampute in Africa. These are, strong as I, uh, these are causes I feel very strongly about, rescuing children from uh, child slavery, sex slavery, um, elephant, uh, animal welfare and things like that. 
And so this is reflected in my giving plan. You can give to individual or organisations. And you know that we are approaching shopping centres and on the phone and all types of places to give. And if you are very clear on who you want to give to and what causes, it's very easy to say yes or no. You know, giving is not also just about money. It's also about time and knowledge and resources, contacts. It's about sharing yourself, perhaps by mentoring someone. Who should you give to? Well. Remember your family. So many families do not take care of each other. I'm not saying you need to spoil your children by giving them everything they ask for. Often a child, more than anything else, wants you. Wants you to spend time with them. I'm not talking about money or material possessions. Remember your extended family also. There are so many lonely elderly people out there who would love more interaction with their families or just some company from someone who cares. Then there's your friends and your business associates and your employees. If you are a business owner, then look after your staff. This reaps huge benefits. If you look after them, then they will look after you. Take care of people who look after other people, such as charities, service providers, people who take care of the needy. And remember to take care of the poor and those who have nobody to help them out. Giving should be fun, not something that is done out of duty. It should be deliberate. Look for opportunities, they are all around you. Just yesterday, a client was telling me a story of something that had happened to him recently. He was on his way to attend a court hearing with a tenant who was very disgruntled. And the outcome of that hearing potentially was going to be a significant cost to him. On the way, while he was walking to court, he stopped to have a chat to a busker giving that person some time and he also made a money donation to the busker. As he walked into the courthouse he was informed that the tenant had withdrawn the case. The simple act of giving returned more than time. He didn't have to deal with the hearing so he got time back and he also didn't have to deal with any subsequent meetings so more time was given back and the wonderful thing no costs had to be paid. However, let me give you a word of warning. Don't give to get. It is wonderful to give to others. However, it is also important that we are open to receiving from others. You've most likely heard the saying, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Most of us understand that we get a blessing when we give, but there is so much more to this. If we refuse a gift from someone, we actually take away their right to give to us and we take away their right to enjoy giving and to be blessed. So receive the gift willingly and either way, give and be blessed.